is from Italy so uh, now there are very very many different genes and uh, different technologies says one is London dry but the other gene is completely different it's yes it's compl nothing like London dry completely different than a classic London dry indeed mm -hmm. yes so yeah and, um, it's very nice to be here first of all it's great mm -hmm. it's uh, our first time in Poland uh, so it's it's fantastic to have your location and uh, and your event as a as a launching platform for our brand. Uh, we launched the Rivo. Just a few words about Rivo. We launched the Rivo in 2015, and back then we were literally one of the very first Italian independent Italian jeans on the on the Italian market. Mm -hmm. And uh, the main we are from Lake Como. Lake Como is a beautiful destination. It's a beautiful lake in the northern part of Italy, not far from Milan. Mm -hmm. And um, and when we launched Rebo, it was, I was going to say it was clear for us that we should have built a very authentic story, uh, a story that could tell uh, that it could tell a story about our territory, about our, our our area, and and that's why we decided to use Italian botanicals and more specifically botanicals from our area to produce our gin. And, and that's why we called it for a gin because we source the botanicals straight in the mountains around Lake Como. Um, we pick these botanicals three, four, five times a year, depending on the season. Uh, we get botanicals such as thyme, mint, uh, a local sort of rosemary. Um, uh, we got lemons, and we distill them individually. So back to your question, it's not a London Dry uh, as a, in terms of production. So uh, every botanical was still separated. Pretty much that's the case, and then we make a blend afterwards. Uh, consider that as soon as we get the botanicals, they are uh, picked fresh. So they need to put an infusion for a few hours in order to get the aromas out. Then we do a filtration and then we, of course, then we have our magic to it. And what you get is then a very fresh, very balsamic gin. It got uh, very Mediterranean notes. We want to do something different because, you know, London dry jeans tend to be very similar within the category. Uh, and there are already, there were back then already some very good dry, London dry jeans out there. But there wasn't any fully Mediterranean gin, and that's why we decided to come up with uh, with this product. With Rivo, yeah, Italy is very famous for uh, for herbs. Yeah. Uh, so the, the, uh, the Italian kitchen is is, is full of, of, of herbs, like 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 uh, thyme, like uh, rosemary. Yeah. And so the I think this uh, this gin is 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 perfect with with with, with Italian uh, kitchen. Yes. Especially for pizza. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. No, but it's very nice that you say that, and it's very interesting because uh, Italy indeed has an enormous variety of botanicals. I mean, think of Italy. You go in the north, the Alps, and there you get uh, like some sort of botanicals, and it, you've got a very rather cold weather. It's where we come from. And the, but then, if you think of the opposite, at the other side of Italy, then you got Sicily, which is famous for orange, lemon. So the variety of botanicals and plants you get in Italy is enormous, right? And uh, and we wanted somehow to bring a bit of this diversity into our into our gin. And in terms of food pairing, yes, we do a lot of food pairings. Uh, we obviously do food pairing. We did a you mentioned pizza. We did a food pairing night with four different pizza and four different cocktails. So, for instance, we had um, we had a pizza with salami and we uh, paired it with a Negroni. We had a, a fresher pizza and we paired that with uh, um, we a gin and tonic. So depending on the pizza, a gin basil smash we did as well with gin, uh, matching it with uh, uh, with a um, with a pizza with basilicum. So yeah, we play a lot with uh, with Italian cuisine and we do lots of pairings. And your uh, uh, your juniper is uh, much uh, more sweeter than uh, the juniper which we have in uh, in northern uh, uh, Europe like the uh, uh, juniper which we have in Polish mountains. Yeah. But this is uh, the, the Mount Mountains juniper, yes? In this, so in this case we use Italian juniper from mm -hmm. Tuscany. Uh, that yeah, that juniper gives an extra citrusy note and an mm -hmm. extra, extra sweetness. So the juniper itself brings already lots of mm -hmm. aromas and flavors. Uh, and that's the characteristic of the Italian of the Italian gin, of the Italian juniper, sorry, mm -hmm. which adds this extra kick which we like a lot. Mm -hmm.
And I think this is this is the reason why uh, your your uh, gin is so tasty because this is completely different uh, juniper. Yes, the typical juniper is is uh, is uh, like a pear. Yes. Yeah, so. it's more even more straightforward. And, and yours is is, is uh, absolutely sweet. Yes. Yeah, it's sweet and very fresh. Very fresh, very citrusy, very uh, yeah, very Italian. I would say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, this is the only uh, one recipe which you uh, made? Or? We have two. We produce two, uh, two varieties. One is uh, the one you have in your hands, which is our regular gin. And then we launched the very first Italian uh, slow gin, uh, which is distributed as uh, Rivo by Spiri de Po here in Poland. Um, and uh, both of the labels are available in the market. Uh, we were very proud of bringing in Italy the very first slow gin, as it is something which is uh, still very... Uh, very niche and not so mainstream in Italy, but people are starting to get interested because you know uh, people are starting to get interested into the gin cat cat category in all its facets, including the slow gin. And um, and even with the slow gin, we use slow Italian slow berries only, so we don't have any additive, we don't add any um, any let's say uh, cherry syrups in there. Italian slow berries only, and that's what gives uh, then slow gin. I uh, hope you can try this uh, this natural sweetness, a bit of almond dish uh, notes that make it, I think, special. Okay, thank you. Con and I have to congratulate. Thank this you very much. Absolutely uh, brilliant uh, gin, and we'll taste this uh, gin uh, with, with uh, our tasting uh, group. So uh, for today, Monday, we will have uh, Italian uh, absolutely uh, fantastic uh, gin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A local uh, Italian uh, perks. Thank you very much. Uh, arrivederci, grazie mille. <laughs> Buona serata. Ciao. Grazie mille. Grazie mille.